Hey guys, Mike with Mortgage Nerds here in Appleton, Wisconsin. Today I am with Ryan Lonergan. And every once in a while, we like to bring in people of, uh, from the community and just find out what they do and how they're helping our community. So Ryan, tell us what you do. Well, I've been uh, working in the military veteran community for almost 14 years, helping in many different capacities, uh, volunteering, nonprofits, uh, working for state agencies, uh, the Department of Defense, uh, and, and currently nonprofits in many different uh, capacities in the sense of helping our veterans that are homeless, mental illness, substance abuse, uh, education, employment, uh, and uh, emergency situations, uh, getting them the proper resources and referral, getting them in contact with the key stakeholders, the key leaders, uh, to make sure that our military and veterans have a proper transition, but also are educated in the community and where to go when they need help. That's a lot of stuff. I know. Did you catch up on that? I That was just overwhelming. That's mine. That's pretty cool though. Um, so you help veterans is what you just said. Yeah. In a roundabout way, I, I help uh, veterans and cool. families. And that's why I like Ryan. He helps. He has a heart and a passion to help veterans. That's what he does for a living. It's also what he does on his side gig, which we'll talk about next too. So how do people um, you know, convey like they know somebody that's in need or how does that all work? Uh, it, Usually, high majority of the time, it is all resource and referral. So I can get random messages on uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, um, you know, people just reaching out and, or just random text messages, kind of just uh, relaying or refer, referring people. I'll be like, hey, they have a simple question, like, where do I get a copy of my discharge paperwork, which is your DD-214 or NGB-22 if you're National Guard. And I'd just be like, well, you need to go to your county veteran service officer. Or it could be something serious as, uh, you know, I got my, my friend's homeless, you know, where can they find shelter? Mm -hmm. And it's it's connecting those dots and filling that gap in that isn't really well shared with our military when they get out of the military. Um, there's a lot of things that are left to the unknowns for our military service members that are getting out. Um, so having people in the community like myself, because I'm not the only person that does this, um, but having people like myself in the community that are familiar with the community to give those really good, strong answers and not send people on wild goose chases, uh, it, it helps elevate our community and changes the ecosystem uh, for our military and veterans. Love it. So you identify exactly what uh, their need is and connect them with the appropriate resource. Right. And But also being humble enough to tell them, I don't know. Let me find out. Right, but that's I, the that's the magic. Is let me find out. I'm not just leaving you hanging. I'm not going to leave them hanging. And mm -hmm. th that's the biggest thing is, you know, there's people. There are there are situations where people uh, veterans are left hanging, and they're just they're just left to wonder like what is what's happening, and I don't like that. So I mean, if you're going to commit yourself to helping someone, follow through with it. And if you don't know how, reach out to me. And if I don't know, I know people that should know. Right. That's yeah. your network. It, right. Yeah. Just building that network. Network. Yeah. That's really cool. That's a grenade. Yeah. Are we talking about the Frego podcast? What is that? Oh, we're talking about, they're not talking about oh, the Frego. Yeah, oh, yeah. Is that yeah. your segue? Mine was going to be different. Mine oh. was going to be like, hey, Ryan, why don't you tell us about that other thing that you do? Oh, well, what's, what's your transition then? That, that I just did it. That was a horrible transition. Okay. All right. Anyway. Well, tell us about your uh, little microphone thingy that you do when you talk to people. My mic? Oh, the microphone thing. What are you no. talking about? Your podcast, oh. silly. Uh, another way that I am actively trying to help the community and build it up a little bit and provide uh, context and stories and humor uh, is I'm the host owner of the Frag Out podcast that is available on all major platforms Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Castbox, Cast Addicts. I'm sure there's many other platforms that I don't know about. I learn about at least five every week. Um, but I bring in veterans, community leaders, uh, some virtual podcasts with an with Olympian and uh, you know polit politicians from both sides of the aisle. Um, and we talk about everything and everything, uh, everything and anything. Well, that was- Anything and everything? Yeah. Related to the veteran community, but also the community in general and mm -hmm. how to help people. Um, and it's got a military overtone to it. Uh, the studio is here at Mortgage Nerds. Just recently moved here. Just recently moved here, completely redid an office. Um, and this is just some of the memorabilia that we have in the office. We got the office grenade and we have the office rocket launcher. Um, every office needs a rocket launcher. Absolutely. These are facts. These are. Um, but it's nice to bring veterans in and give them a nice little 
kind of an awesome space to just express themselves and be free to share something. Yeah, we just support what Ryan does here and um, helping veterans and sharing their stories. Uh, some amazing stories, like and, just and, some nuggets. Like you guys have to lot, uh, listen to some of these. One, uh, one of your guys so that you brought in, like he was blown up how many times? Yeah, uh, one of the most recent episodes, my buddy Joe, he was, uh, uh, he was in the military about 13 years. Uh, he did five combat deployments and he was blown up 37 times. He had a RPG shot at him, a recoilless rifle round, and during a building room clearing, uh, an enemy combatant jumped out of a closet and slashed his arm. Uh, we can say stab, though, so a slash. But just, I mean, that's just one individual that I've had on the podcast. And he's out there, president of a nonprofit, taking veterans on hunting trips, not being being the highest form of selfless you can be to give that's back. So amazing. Yeah, like, it's absolutely. perspective. Like you guys get, we get mad because somebody cut us off in traffic or stole our parking right, spot. Right. This guy, like, you know, that was a bad day. You know, three purple hearts. <laughs> he's got three purple hearts on Unreal. top of it. Yeah. And you had some other great guests, too. Yeah, uh, no, an, an incredible guest. I went to middle school with her, uh, Olympic silver medalist, Chelsea Memel. Uh, I, obviously, she's not, she's not a veteran, but it was. I went to middle school with her, graduated middle school with her, and she's out there training to be going back to the Olympics at 32, 33 years old, mother of two children, Unreal. and she's still training. And I was like, I got to reach out to Chelsea. I haven't talked to her since middle school. And she, I mean, she did sign my yearbook, so, I mean... That was kind before of, Facebook, kind right? Of a thing. Kind of a thing. And I reached out to talk to her about the training and the, the just what is the behind the scenes? What are the misconceptions of the Olympics and being an Olympian and being a gymnast and giving that perspective? And the cool thing is that she's from Wisconsin. I'm from Wisconsin. And there's so many. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Mike is from Wisconsin. And, you know, giving that perspective, like Wisconsin, we have so many amazing individuals that are doing such awesome things in the community whether that's veteran, whether that's entrepreneurship, whether that is athletics, uh, athletic, athletics um, and, and so on, politicians. Uh, I want to capture those stories and share them with just everyday people that are out there working their, their, their tails off, but also have a story be like, well, if they can do it, then I can do it kind of, kind of mentality. Yeah. And Tons of great guests. They're like that awesome um, story, and there's just so many more. How many um, um, podcasts have you done so far? To, uh, well, today, Veterans Day. We're recording on Veterans Day. We are. Um, I uploaded the 64th episode of the podcast today. Awesome. Um, and that is with uh, two of my really good friends, Danny and Jimmy. Um, so I really hope uh, everyone watching, you'd go through the, uh, the Rolodex of the list, find an episode that might, you know, Peak some interest. You might see some local names if you're local to the Fox Valley. You might see some names that are pretty well known throughout the, the world, like Chelsea. Um, uh, but it, you just go into it with the idea, if you don't know anything about the veteran community, um, we are definitely very hard on each other. We give each other a hard time. But it's about giving that outlet, uh, sharing those stories, um, but having a, uh, you know, a moral compass redirection i guess i don't know if i said that the best but it's just fun it, it's i love love connecting it's about it's about connecting with people uh in, in a different form being able to be done and shake their hand when i'm done whereas we live in a very digital age and everything's done twitter instagram facebook i'm sitting across the table from these individuals and sometimes i've never met them previous to the podcast so having them share their story within the first with, within an hour of them meeting them and then shaking their hand it's uh this is what we should be doing as a community not arguing with each other about uh, things that we don't know about you can just tell that you love what you do just by how passionate you are about it that's I, awesome i do like what i do very that's much cool. yeah well um you guys should definitely check out frag out podcast we are also a proud sponsor of it and a va myth busting series coming very very soon to educate and empower our veterans and everyone on the VA home loan uh, and the misconceptions involved with that. So um, thanks for coming on, Ryan. Appreciate thanks for it. having me. Thanks, right. everybody. Remember, guys, mortgages are complex. Let mortgage nerds give you the answers you need.